All right, welcome back to the World Biome Zoo. As you can see from last video, nothing much has changed. I'm literally uh, recording one right after the other. But uh, yeah, so last time I was saying it would be kind of cool to incorporate this into the park. Maybe not necessarily putting animals in here, leaving the natural landscape, but using maybe some of the raised walking platforms to get across. Like, connect down here, keep going. That might be kind of cool. So, we'll see. I can see the end of the month is coming, which means we'll be indebted soon. So, I don't think we'll have enough to put the reindeer in for a little while, at least. But, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking how this is turning out. I could definitely turn this into a nice-looking zoo. You know, putting down like a fountain here at the beginning and whatnot and all that merriment. But I think in the meantime, before our money goes away, why don't we put this guy here? And hopefully he can generate us some money. Discovery kiosk. I think this provides like education and it might provide amusement. I've never really used it before. It's part of a exit expansion pack so but yeah I think next cotton candy and popcorn be pretty good I'm gonna put, oh my interesting noises we put those two there that'd be pretty good but yeah okay I see everyone's enjoying the water buffalo oh one and a half stars. Well, there you go. Let's get this one. I kind of want to get the other one too, if you don't mind. There it is. Get those going. We may be here a while, so might as well make it look nice. Y'all look like you're all... You're about out of sticks there, aren't you? And there's the new month. Yes, they are out of sticks. Oh, we must have got a pretty large donation because we just made like 200 bucks. Which doesn't normally happen. I see the pathways are crowded. What you getting? Thompson Gazelle plushie. Nice. I don't know if I've uh, shown this off yet. Gift cart. That's a zoo hat. Pretty good idea, pretty good money maker, obviously. We see everyone. Ooh, look, water buffalo fanny pack. <laughs> what fantastic taste you have, young lady. <laughs> All right, food carts are done. Where are you going? He's probably going to sit on this bench because he doesn't have any any work to do. Oh, look out! How interesting. Okay. Watch it, lady. I do see the amusement. It is not enough for some. These are cheap. I don't expect them to make much money, but it will help alleviate the people complaining about not having enough dessert carts. Oh, we're very close. As I recall, I don't think... I think it goes... Cotton candy's most valued from kids. Kids like the desserts. Then, like, popcorn and then pretzels. So these are like... The kids like the cotton candy. The men like the popcorn, and then the women like the soft pretzels. I think that's what they say in, like, the descriptions. But, yeah, looking pretty good. I think we can go ahead and start planning for this caribou exhibit. So, Tundra's pretty cool in that there are no trees that go down here. So, it's pretty 
barren at times. Uh, I don't know how much water would really be desired for caribou, but in the interest of making it look interesting, let's go ahead and load it up. Now I will say, I remember when you put down this arctic moss, it replaces the snow with like dirt. Which I guess makes sense. But at the same time, like, I have to repaint everything now. But I think that about, that is about do it for this. I'll put this centralized, so we'll move this Labrador T out. Right there. So, like, I'll show you the map now. There's spots. That's where I put the Arctic moss in. So let's... Uh, get rid of that. Okay. And... Enrichment. Scratching posts. It would be good to give them the scratching posts. So, let's do that. Here's interesting, uh, caribou eat branches, like the moose, which I guess makes sense, but at the same time, there are no trees to get branches in this tundra exhibit. So, uh, yeah, not sure about that, but I'm sure uh, they'll manage, as they do. Okay, put that down, and... I'll wait on putting down like donation boxes and whatnot. But I'm liking how this is going. So now, you see, if I were to edit the video, this would be a good place to fast forward some time. I think we've looked at the live lizard food. Heat lamp. That's pretty cool. Heat lamps are bugs, though. So I don't think we'll be using that. A dodo rock. I don't know what this is. Oh. Like many birds today, the dodo swallowed bits of rock to help with digestion. Yeah. Interesting. Salt lick from uh, African animals. It's pretty cool. I think a lot of animals do like salt licks. Moose is going to give birth. Well, let's watch the miracle of life while we wait for money. Majestic. Okay. Birthing spot has been picked. Aren't you just the cutest little thing with your big eyes? Alright, we get two. Moose three and moose four. A lot of moosing going on. I, uh, I'd, uh, I don't name them, as you can probably tell, the animals. If I was playing a, a zoo where I was going to spend uh, a bunch of time maybe then I can name it I can have like sub subscribers give me names and whatnot but but it sure seems like people like the the water buffalo so I'm pleased with that actually moose is winning on there but yeah the water buffalo seems to be a big favorite here I will wait for now till we get some more money we've uh, made a good amount here it's kind of cool. You can see the breakdown. We're spending... Okay, so you buy... Uh, it was double in the first month because it costs money to put them down and then you pay them at the end of the month, so it's a double cost. But... Let the cap capitalism flow. Got you so upset. Mm. 
All right. Oh, well, I guess you uh, you'll figure it out. Look at that walk, though. There you go, lady. Madhurparna Mitchell. <laughs> Three hundred and sixty-five bucks from them. That's pretty good. Only like sixty from uh, cotton candy. So yeah, not bad. So I think um, obviously it's really easy to just fill in with all these small cost animals, but um, the more expensive animals you spend. Usually the more in money and donations you get, so there is some incentive to get some cooler animals. Although, hey, I mean, uh, who doesn't like just tons and tons of hooved animals? They seem to have conquered the world from all the biomes. Okay, so we're about a thousand dollars off now from putting caribou down. Usually when you put in a new animal, there's like a big swing of people visiting the new animal, checking it out. So that can bring in a, lot, a good surge of money. I think I'll go ahead and decimate the local flora. I'm not going to say fauna this time. That'll get us a little closer. You know what I could do? Um, I'll have this zoo saved. When I uh, finish finish this scenario, and I'll probably move on, but I could always come back to this and like make this super cool. Cause I mean, like, maybe not Jeeps restricted driving through, but maybe definitely some like chair swings. Dinos, eh. Where are the chair swings? It's the marine show. Huh. I know they have them. Maybe it's because we haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, and with that, we are like super close to reindeers. Caribous. My bad. Male. Female. Okay. Those are some of my majestic antlers. They both go straight for water and branches. Alright. So that's cool. I think, um... First, let's take care of the animals, give them their scratching posts that they rightly deserve. We're a little ways away, though. But that's another one. Knock it off. So, this could be a potential exhibit right up in here. I do like the idea of that. Um... Yeah. Like that idea a lot, actually. Okay, it's time. Enrichment. There you go. Aren't y'all just the luckiest? You get your own scratching post. Okay, in the interests of uh, keeping this going, I think I'll try and get some trees down before the end of the coming month. So there's some trees. Have some cattails. A log. Okay, why not? And have a rock. There. Alright, so that looks a bit better. Go down. Um, the plant life 
in the wetlands exhibit is really cool because it's the only plants you can put in and around water. And there's the trees. Here's the mangrove. That's a bit basic mangrove from the base. This tree whose name I don't remember. It looks cool though. It takes up quite a good amount of space. So yeah, alright. Water buffalo is going to give birth pretty quick soon, I believe. And our month, our watches, our dollars melt away. Yeah, it's really close. When this fills up to red, it'll be time. I'm interested in seeing uh, 31 days in March. Oh, what do you don't understand? Masato Miller. Really close. It's a new month. There it is, I was gonna say. I see it change, but it took a little while for the money to go. Alright, that's not so bad. We still have some money left over. And there's the bench. Okay, and we can move back over here and enjoy the miracle light of life again. Do the cattails. Pretty sure. Oh, Thompson Gazelle, too. Alright, there he is. Just one. Let's see, uh, let's move over here. This is a video could be called Childbirth, I guess. We'll see if I remember that as we zoop through that tree. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that's a okay. There you go. A little collision. Welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the world. Have some more water and some hay. I am a benevolent master. I see our money has shot up a bit. Wonder what that's about. Okay, I just realized putting that down there doesn't make a whole lot of sense if we're going to put an exhibit up here. But, hey, it's my part. Let's uh, introduce a now crocodile to the water buffalo exhibit. <laughs> Watch uh, the baby ca calf get slaughtered. That would not be good. Too concerned about the land being uneven for the fencing, even though that makes it look worse, in my opinion. I am interested in maybe doing like that. We could do something like this. Yeah. How interesting. The designs there are evolving. We'll leave some trees. Oh, I think the rocks gotta go though. If there are any rock enthusiasts out there, I apologize. So yeah, this, uh, I'm not a fan of. I think if I undo, I can get some money back, yeah. So let's do kind of an organic looking fence. But yeah, I think that exhibit will look plenty big enough. that I 
I'd like to like survey the land. It's quite jagged, the land here, not going to lie. Which is making me think maybe instead of putting the bongos here, which is what I was going to do, we could put in a different animal like say the ibex. Which will fill our need for the um It'll fill our need for the Alpine exhibit. So we didn't get it on that. We did get our peacock though. There's our temperament for us then. And I think I better check the book first. Because the Ibex might actually be a two star. No, it's one and a half. Okay, so we do have access to it. We just gotta reroll it. And we'll go to mail. Because that's that'll make it a little more easier to spot. We'll keep our peacock because we need the peacock. And not that. This is our bongo. We need to keep bongo. Four rocks. Jim's book. Which is good. I do need that. I'll keep this. Endangered ungulate. There's uh, the favorite tortoise. Oh. It's the first time I believe I'm acknowledging the West Indian manatee that I've made the thumbnails that uh, I haven't been using in parks, but. So obviously, this thing would be cooler than uh, the bongo, I believe, but. Hey, cool. what is. Uh, seagull? Some sort of flying bird. Let's just release some uh, manatees into the shallow, shallow pools. All right, come on, camel. We will need the camel. Could have gone tortoise, but I'm kind of digging the theme of just a whole bunch of hooved animals. So, if I... You're not hoovy enough for me. Oh, Galapagos giant tortoise. I just realized we're gonna we're planning to put peacocks down and uh, peacocks are gonna throw off throw off the balance. Say uh Civitherium. What are you, scrub? You would be cool except I already have a scrub in mind, it's the gems book. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that I'm having such trouble re-rolling the Ibex. Ooh. But that's okay. Let's, uh... Let's not worry about it for now. Let's start planning more. So. This would be like a decent rest stop area, I would think. Something here. Yeah, it's a little wonky. Something like this. And then our path would be closer to the water. Maybe. Maybe. Do like that. How does that look on size? Yeah, it's not bad. Alright, so the idea is we'll go this way. So I'll put that in there for now. So what am I thinking in this oddly shaped area? Maybe more food carts? I like to uh, design little, just small little areas of pockets for getting food and whatnot. So, okay, let's see here. Put this... 
The land. This time it bothers me. Flat. Okay, we're five chain links away from finishing this fence. Time's going on. Slowly but surely. Alright. Oh, I'm like stuck. I see the sun is setting. But yeah, alright. I like the looks of this. Yeah, I don't know, man. The fence just kind of wonky. But that's okay. Alright. I see uh, the ground here looks a little sus. <laughs> I'm going to choose to ignore that since the fence is already down. But yeah, it's interesting. Not many people are complaining about entertainment, which happened a lot last time. At Wolverton, at least. Yeah, okay, let's see. You're out. You're out. You're out. You're out. Caribou 2 is pregnant. Fantastic. Let's see about putting in this bongo. in the gates yet, but that's okay. Just a small little drinking hole. And have an umbrella. So I think it makes sense for you to have some branches, some water. You want the salt lick. Which I guess I'll give. The trees look alright. No flowers, no rocks. We may want to fill out our path in here. So something like that. I'll wait for connecting everything out when I while I consider all I want to do. You know, I may uh, put like no. I think the food. Something food will be going in here somewhere. I just have to figure it out. This would be enough spot for a good uh, restroom placement too. So, alright. Getting close. Close to time. Bongos will be nice and cheap, though. Manatee's coming back. I do not think we'll be getting them down in time before the next month, but... We're not in a bad spot. All right. Yep, month. All our precious dollars are about to go away. There it is. It's gone. So. I see we're still looking for restrooms. Taylor Merrifield. Uh, right. Noisy. Alright, I'll just uh, wait a little longer. Here. Oh, there's two stars. There's a kangaroo. Which is obviously would be a very cool animal for a zoo. Should probably have the kangaroo. But... Kentosaurus. Alright, with that, I think I'll go ahead and call it here. We've got some, uh... Oh, there goes our two-star. Well, crap. We've got some good planning going on, so... Yeah.
taking that. And with that, I will go ahead and call it here. Thanks for watching. More to come. I love you. Not really. <laughs>